Hey, hey you, welcome, welcome to the JKS podcast. Did you like carry it with you? I wore a camel pack and it's, you, you feel so dorky wearing a camel pack and running. You look, like there's no way to not look autistic when you're wearing a camel pack and running. Yeah. <laughs> the path. You have to, like, steer right into the stereotype and get, like, the high-vis, like, rounded sunnies, like, the backwards cap, like, the full run get-up, bright green shoes, or else, like, any normal runner with a camel pack does definitely look a little spectrum-y. Yeah, it looks like you're autistic and late for the bus. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. It is hard to run with a backpack on, though, especially if you've got the water sack. Because it's like sloshes about the whole time, like it's really distracting. I've got pretty good earphones, like uh, yeah. So I I don't hear it, but I'm sure everyone within like a 500 meter radius can hear it, like sloshing about. <laughs> you know what really annoys me is when cyclists ding you, but they don't need to. There's no one else around. That's yeah. just me. And like, I yeah. feel like they ride close to me. So, like, there's, like, a full fucking half sidewalk, but no, you're brushing up against me as you pass. It's like, I feel like you're trying to fuck with me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> worried about you. That, like, cyclist, he's not going to make it. <laughs> yeah. The cyclist got pissed at me, I think, because I was wearing the earphones, and, I, and they're, like, noise cancelling, so I couldn't hear the ding. And then he, like, passed me on the other side, and he, like, turned back and said something, but once again, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, you just start in wars with cyclists. But yeah, the dinging is aggressive. It kind of distracts me too. It like scares me. I just feel like, oh my God, did I tell you the story with the fucking dwarf? No. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you a story and you're going to swear it's made up. I fucking swear on everything I've ever known that this is a 100% true story. I will not fabricate or exaggerate any piece of this story. It's completely real. So I was running at like 9 p.m. Uh, after working late, pitch black, and I was running down this, like, dark alleyway with, like, zero fucking lights, nothing. Like, you couldn't see in front of you at all, so I had my phone torch out, that's how dark it was. And I shit you fucking not, a dwarf on a scooter, or a little person, like, comes up beside me and scares me so bad, I let out this, like, girly-ass shriek, right? I'm like, (laughs) like, as he, like, goes past me, it scares the fucking shit out of me. The dwarf turns to look at me and starts (laughs) laughing at me and hits a rock in front of him and fucking... Like, ass overhead, just face plants on the concrete. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, you are alright? He's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And like, gets on his scooter, and then fucking scooters away. Mr. Oompa Loompa. I couldn't believe it. You sure you won't hallucinate? That's crazy. I it's probably swear. just a child. He's <laughs> like a ten-year-old kid. <laughs> no, I swear to you that that's true. And I, I've ne- I, I still hear the shriek I let out. I've never, like, I've never heard myself make that noise. And it was like this, it was the girliest, like, wimpiest thing you've ever heard. And, yeah, it was a uh, dwarf on a scooter. So you're a normal voice? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So are you, yeah. like, are you hideist or, like, why do you hate dwarves so much? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> They're just really scary. They're pretty stocky. You know, I feel like they could tackle me. Do you have, like, a Gimli build? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But no joke, I have not been running that late at night since. I don't want to run into him again. What if he's got like, he stacked it hard, like the whole scooter just and face first into the ground. And I think because his limbs are pretty short, he couldn't like stop his face hitting the ground. So he hit hard. I reckon he's like, yeah, going to come after me with like a clown car full of him. If he ever sees me again, imagine. It probably didn't help you kicked him on the way afterwards. <laughs> uh, there was no kicking. Imagine my obituary if I got, like, stomped out by, like, a group of little people. It would be pretty funny. It's a good way to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, for people who don't know, Nippler and I are little bitches. We, uh, we quit on our runs today, although I quit worse than Nippler did. How bad? Uh, I was scheduled for a 30k. I'd already resigned, and in my head I was going to do 25, and then I got there and I was like, okay, I'll do the 10k, I'll start with the 10k loop of the lake, because there's no way that even if I'm in front of my car at 10k's, I'm, I'm going to stop, like, I have to keep going, and then I would finish it with the 20, and then I'd have no choice but to, to do 30. 
no, I can absolutely stop at 10Ks, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got to my car at 10Ks, got in the car, and went home. Yeah. Nice. Well, I, I didn't have a car at 10Ks. If I did, I would have also driven home. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I had to run. I hit a wall at 10Ks, had to run all the way back, and it was tough. It was tough. I, like, jogged slash walked for most of it and then finished the Garmin With activity the to hide my shame. And then I just walked the last three Ks <laughs> back home. I don't know what's wrong with us, man. Like, well, actually, I'm... I'm significantly better than I was three months ago. You are far worse. You're like at my level. I don't know if that's fair. I hate to say it, man. I've got a 6.30 pace in me now. And that's something I like certainly did not have in October last year. Like the my best pace was like seven minutes with stops. So I've got like 6.30 in me now. You're running seven minutes. Yeah, but it's hot. And it's hilly where I'm living now, so, you know, it doesn't count. Those ones don't count. You went from the fastest, Mr. Like 515 half marathon, to like the not fastest. When we do the lake together next week, you will see. You'll see that I still have that dog in me. <laughs> so that's the spoiler alert. Nippler and I have agreed, and Jetty, you are absolutely not fucking invited. He already said both no. of us. Are- <laughs> yeah, I, I invited him and he said no. But why would you invite him? I You're don't so know. much worse than him. Imagine I don't know. I just yeah, gave I, him. <laughs> I do want to be seen with you two in public, <laughs> running. So <Yeah. laughs> we'll call you to I'm pick a- us up 10Ks in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's the spoiler that we've agreed to like hold each other accountable and go do, I don't know, whatever pace. We're, we're going to go do 25 together next Sunday. So we'll see how we go. You're going to end up in the lake, Sean. He's going to push you in the lake when you start running off No, of him. no, no, no. <laughs> we're just no, running, t- we're running down the pier because uh, that's part of the, tr- part of the track. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, like as unfit as you think you are, you're still much fitter and faster than me. But I don't know why you do your runs like you do. Like, if you look on Strava, it starts with, like, a really big blue line because it's really fast. And then it's this, like, steep decline through your kilometers. So, like, kilometer one is, like, really, really fast. And then by kilometer 20, it's just this consistent ramp down to, like, nine-minute kilometers. How I'm currently doing my runs, it's all downhill for the first 10Ks. And then I turn around, (gasps) and it's all uphill (laughs) for the next... (laughs) And it gets it starts off like steep downhill and slowly like plateaus. So right. um, around it starts off, yeah, like you end on the hardest bit. So you're you're cheating, but like <laughs> fucking yourself at the same time. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's good times until I turn around and then it's bad times. <laughs> Get Jed to pick you up at the bottom of the hill or something. <laughs> I did yeah. see that scooter the other day when I was running back. That e scooter <laughs> that Nipple was going to take back. It's tempting, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's in a good spot. <laughs> How'd your lo- long run go? You went for a long run yesterday too, right, Jetty? This morning went for yeah twenty. Um, 20? Went, pre- went pretty slow though, so yeah. How'd you feel? Um, yeah, it was all right. Just had a nap before, so I'm feeling pretty good now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did it like, was it a, a painful realization for you as it was for me? on like how hard it is going to be to like do double. <laughs> it's like do that 20 twice. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so fucked, man. I have no idea how the fuck we're going to do it. And you We've said you were- eight was... weeks. That's plenty of time. We have eight weeks, a bucks and a wedding in between. And yeah, I might there. have to miss them. I might have to miss them to, <laughs> to make it work. He's already got the really expensive suits, though. Yeah, no, you're yeah, you're you're coming. You're doing it to yourself again. A week before the marathon, you're going on holidays. Yeah, I'm deloading again. It worked with Barley last time, so it's a. Uh... It didn't you were slow? Well, if I was slow, then <laughs> what were you? <laughs> <laughs> Slower. But no, there's uh, there's an. A family vacation up north in Queensland. They've booked out an entire island. Uh, and remind me, what, what day is the marathon? Sunday. And sorry, what day do you get back? Saturday night. <laughs> night. Right. What time? I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> Plane lands at like 7 p.m. You're so fucked. You know the kickoff for the Fools, I think like 5.30. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll get an Uber back. I'll be back by like, you know, close to eight. It'll be fine. And then, 
like eat trail mix in the back of the Uber because you're gonna have to like try and eat some good food or something. I don't know. I think you just fucked. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. No, Jed's gonna, gonna cook me up something to eat, aren't you, Jed? All oh, right. It'll be spicy curry. Spicy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Another toilet break like 500 meters into the race. Yeah. Although a shit break is like religion for me now. Every long run, I have to take a dump. I did it this morning too. Really? Yeah, I can't help myself. I'm leaving at like 6.30. I need, what yeah. are you eating? I eat, like, I eat a big meal the night before. I think it's slowing me down though. I'm looking to dump out in the morning before you leave for your run. I'm leaving at fucking 6 a.m. Like, my body's not in the mood to shit at six. <laughs> I just woke up ten minutes before. Like, what? And then by the time it's awake, I'm like three kilometers in. You're just yeah. taking your morning dump in public toilets. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> fucking oh, crazy. The ones, like, on the Kingston side of the lake, horrific, too. They are, like, cracked and cracked before, in. before before or after you're done with them? <laughs> are they horrific? Uh, <laughs> Trust me, there is nothing I could do to them to make them any worse. And I'm dead serious. Like, they are really bad. Like, even I hovered this morning. Like, I'm pretty, like, game. I'll sit on a lot. Even I hover shat this morning. And that's a weird feeling, too. Like, three Ks in, your, your thighs are kind of shaky, and you're, like, squatting and, like, holding your balls up so they don't touch the toilet seat, trying to take a dump. <laughs> it's not good. And then they don't explain how hard wiping is when you squat. Like, you know how hard it is to, like, spread your cheeks and, like, wipe your ass at the same time? It's not good, man. And then you end up, like, running the rest of your run with, like, a half-shitty asshole. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's so uh, fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And there's plenty of people overtaking me, too, so I can only imagine the things that they smell as they're, like, running past me. <laughs> Poor fuckers. They all speed up for some reason. So weird. <laughs> we'll get off running, but this one's funny, too. I've got this habit now of, like, trailing people. So somebody will overtake me, and then I use them as, like, a pace. No, (laughs) it is kind of. It is kind of. And, like, so they'll overtake me, and then I'll use them as, like, a pacer, and it really helps me, because then I can just, like, go with the flow and just, like, follow them. But I'm following too close. Like, I'm, like, five or six meters behind them, like, fucking breathing on their neck, and just, like, yeah, no care in the world, just going. You should probably stop whispering things to them as well. (laughs) (laughs) Nice legs. (laughs) The guy I did it to today looked back twice. So I'm like, okay, I'll back <laughs> off a little bit then. Like, I must be too close. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked you're doing this to guys. I thought this was like a predatory. It might still be. No, women scare me. So, yeah. And there's not that many kids that run in the morning. Probably. Oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Plus they're too fast for me, you know. It's just like <laughs> fat old men I can keep up with. So you and I will be fine on Sunday. <laughs> What if we looked at Sean Strava and he was just running to the preschool and back every day? Oh, <laughs> running laps around the preschool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> what did you think of my joke the other day? I was like, um, I'm out the front of the store, but there's a kid's playground, so don't rush. That was funny. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, you're welcome. Mifflis was good as well, the Peter Jackson one about Nicholas. That was, that was a terrible fucking joke. <laughs> That's a good joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> so for people listening, I bought these guys the wedding suits from Peter Jackson. And what was the joke you made? Are we buying suits from Legolas? Or something? No, I try to remember the one. Do we get to dress up as Legolas? Something like that. <laughs> because <laughs> apparently Peter Jackson directed Lord of the Rings. So. How do you not do it apparently? How do you not know that? I actually couldn't have told you that, to be honest. Is that bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, I know they directed King Kong, but not Lord of the Rings. <laughs> that movie was so shit. It was the best, man. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Good. It was like, like a, so, way too long. Oh, out there, not long enough. That's like two movies in one. One where he's fighting dinosaurs, and then the others where he's like fighting humans and shit. It's great. Banger movie. Terrible movie. Doesn't that have <laughs> Jack Black in it? Am I remembering right? No. No. <laughs> uh, I think the first one does. The one he directed, I'm pretty sure did. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure it does. Yeah. Don't think so. What the fuck is that? Like, what is that? Hang on, I'll turn my camera on. It's a lane in a studio. What is it? <laughs> Yeah, Landon and Scooby. We bought a pickleball set, and apparently it's way bigger than she was expecting. Oh, did you get pickleball? Oh, yeah. That's sick. I'm going to come around and fuck you up. Yeah, we bought it for the um, my 30th that we're going to have at the house, but didn't end up having it. Yeah. We'll have to come around for some beers or something. Yeah. We've got an awesome backyard for it, too. It's not on a hill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible backyard for it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh fuck! All right, should we kick it off? Should we get to some topics? I've got a um. Can I start? Yeah, yeah go for it. for it. Have you guys um? Did you guys see the aliens in Miami thing? No, what the fuck is this? So this was like a month ago. I'm a little late to the news, but I saw it on my TikTok. And there's these videos going around of like, I don't know, 50, 60 cop cars, like out the front of this like Miami shopping center. And they've like closed it off. And then there's like, of course, 240 pixel or 240p videos of this like creature thing out the front of all the cop cars. And it's like an alien. Yeah, but what what's it? what is it really? An alien. I just told you. There's no, there's no like twists and turns here. I'm not M. Night Shyamalan, you know? This is real. I'll show you. Have a look. I'll share my screen. I feel like uh, I would have heard about this if it was real. Oh, it's real. Look at the quality. Like, you can very clearly and distinctly. Okay, what am I looking at? You need to describe this to me. <laughs> so, it's the steps of a, a store, and there's like a creature. See? See the creature? Looks like okay, a and then these. These are people running away from the creature because it's scary. And then this is like a little cut thing for the dramatic effect. And then if, uh, yeah, these are all the cop cars. So the cop car, the incident was real. Like these are real cop cars. And look, the alien, like it's clear as day. And look, all the people running away because they're scared, you know? Was this worth it? Yeah. Was showing us this video worth it? Yeah, it was. Look, alien. No? And, but all those... Those people were so scared that no one saw anything. It's crazy, right? Like there is not a single eyewitness testimony for this sub. Um, not, not, well, not a single person recorded it in high res. No, we have some <laughs> drone footage for only two forty p. Yeah, we can see all of the cop cars. But yeah, we um look at that. Many, you're telling me that many cop cars respond to just like a standard event. That's yeah, got to be aliens. Okay, but what is it really? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, it turns out it's just a bunch of kids, a bunch of kids like broke in and like, I don't know, broke the, broke some, broke into some stores and shit. And then I don't know what was out the front, but that was where why all the police were there. But that's Wait, a cover so up like story. like 50 cop cars because a couple kids broke into a store. Pretty suspicious. <laughs> right? That's, the, that seems like a likely story. And then they have like this random video of like a fight out the front of the store. But that, this could be from anything. You know, that doesn't look like the same mall. Just looks like a white dude getting beat up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so yeah, the aliens are here, boys, a month ago. Um, and they're here to take over a month ago. And we haven't okay. seen anything since. Well, I'm on the alien side, so if they need anything from me, then <laughs> just let me know. They want to probe you. Um, I don't even think an alien wants to go there. <laughs> I consent. <laughs> go ahead, alien. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my um, that was my extremely valuable input into today's topics list. Yeah, over to you, Jetty. So good. I believe it's an alien, just for the record. <laughs> you do. Hundred percent, it's an alien. A hundred percent, man. Yeah, it's not that. It's not like every person in the world is equipped with like a really high definition camera in the in their pocket at all times, and only the only videos that came out were like two forty p. No, real. I mean people are just so scared they forgot to film it. That's right. They were too busy running away. I would yeah. definitely be that one dipshit standing there videoing it, by the way, instead of running away. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the right angle <laughs> until it yeah. comes up. And- yeah, before we move on, you both are drinking very weird things. Not weird. Sean's drinking chalky milk and Nipple's drinking... Milk. I'm drinking aloe vera. <laughs> what in the fuck is that? Okay, hang on. You can't compare my chocolate milk to that. What is that? Uh, it's just like a sweet drink with little... Like, you know boba balls? You know, like, uh... Yes. Yes. It's like all that in there, made out of aloe vera. Why? Look, it's 20% aloe. Aloe. So 80% vera. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Like, I don't know that you're meant to digest aloe, are you? Uh, I hope so. It's tasty. Okay. That's disgusting. Uh, why don't you just drink, really like, good. water? Why does anyone drink anything sweet? It tastes good. <laughs> Speaking of those bobo balls, I had caviar for the first time the other night on Did Friday. It? It's shit. No, I hate caviar. You're, you're fancy that was boy. putrid. It's, so, it's gross. When did we, you have it? We saw you on Friday. We were we testing like, it. No, Saturday. Off you guys. Oh. Last night, sorry. Last night. You, we weren't good enough for the caviar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have invited us to the caviar. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good enough for caviar either. We were um, tasting the food at the wedding venue. 
and that was one of the dishes. But it was like caviar on top of raw trout. It was putrid. Yeah, so dude, you guys it's way too over- much right. for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's so you guys were rated food. Like raw fish or caviar? Both. Caviar. Caviar, just, it's fucked. It's it only expensive like because, like, you're harvesting fish eggs, which can't be easy. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean it's good. Uh, the fish is, takes seven years to um, sport eggs or something. Really? Yeah, it's a sturgeon. Wow. Well, that's disgusting anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, not worth it. it. But it reminded me of those bobo balls because they, like, burst in your mouth. The caviar. It's disgusting. Well, these ones are good. <laughs> <laughs> Shawnee, have you heard of the Enhanced Games? I have not heard of the Enhanced Games. Well, what you know that? how, you know the Olympics? Yes. It's pretty much that, that you can take all the drugs you want. <laughs> oh, that is That's a dream. That's my country. idea. I've been yeah, thinking for years. Yeah. Has, is that a thing now? <laughs> yeah, it's an official event coming the end of this year. And there's a $1 million prize if you break a record or something like that. So they're trying to get the peak human performance and then reward athletes because athletes don't really get paid that well at the Olympics and stuff like that, even though they're Wait, the best in the world. So This is yeah. actually real. So this is like a, like a private company or something that's like hosting these games. What yeah, the fuck? run by a billionaire or something like that. James, James that, Mack, oh. said the swimmer, said he'll do it. I'm just <laughs> reading now. He said it's going to be juice to the gills. It's <laughs> 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 an actual quote. <laughs> I love that it's. I also love that it's a billionaire doing this. Like he has so much money, he just wants to like get some juiced up people to like compete for his entertainment. He's like building his own little coliseum. Yeah, it's awesome. This is what billionaires should be doing. Yeah, what a legend. <laughs> Science is real. Safer sports. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! That are oh, they doing? They're not doing boxing, are they? That'd be oh, great. That is so sick. Awesome. Oh, you can buy gear. You buy like jumpers and singlets and stuff. Oh, like apparel, not like gear. Yeah, to do. when you say <laughs> <laughs> no apparel. Oh, but you need to be a billionaire to buy it. It's like forty six dollars for a tank top. How much should you pay for your Pokemon shirt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I wonder if this this singlet comes with the muscles. What game would you be looking forward to watching the most? Oh, like shot put or javelin? Just like see them like... <laughs> how much further they can yoink it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they're on like a kilometer long track because that javelin's just flying forever. Imagine. <laughs> so he's paying a prize if they beat like a legitimate world record on gear? I think so. I think that's a deal. It'll Imagine be really if awkward sh- though if they don't beat any records. <laughs> Does that, like, make current world records suspicious? Or does it, it just point out how good they are? Oh. <laughs> I think it makes it look a little fishy. It's like, wait, these you're better than guys that are on, like, gear. Yeah. Juicing to the gills. <laughs> Interesting. Or what if, like, all of the records stay... Ex- like, they'll probably all just stay exactly the same because the entire Olympic team is on fucking roids anyway. I reckon that'll be. I reckon that'll happen. And plus, like, actual Olympic people can't go across because it's obviously career suicide. Right. Yeah. So Unless I guess they're maybe the they're not getting the best athletes, so maybe they won't break it. But interesting. So they are gonna have like are they gonna have like NBA? Basketball's it... a part of the Olympics, so I guess that they could technically. But I'm not sure what sports are in there. How bloody good! Athletics, aquatics, gymnastics, combat, and strength are the main ones. Strength will be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just see him like launch some bloody deadlifts. <laughs> Actual cost. Awesome. He's got like actual like legitimate budget. This is a very well thought out website. I can put in my email address and stay informed. I'm going to. We should sign you up, Shawnee, as the athlete you are. <laughs> Coming to your prime. <laughs> what would I do? I'd like get all juiced up just to still lose to you both in a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> what sport would you do, Nibbler? I got juiced up. Yeah. Um... I don't know, maybe rugby. I just Gymnastics. get the ball and fucking go. Fucking <laughs> rugby? Ram through. Are you not a team player? <laughs> <laughs> How and you broke, you? Your, you broke your collarbone playing soccer. Yeah, when I was unenhanced. <laughs> well, I don't get my enhancements. Nothing will hurt me. True. <laughs> He's going to inject it straight into his collarbone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they, um, they need to extend it to like cybernetics. Just get some like robot limbs. 
Imagine that. Although they have that. No, the don't, don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> oh, so I thought, I thought like enhancement drugs were illegal though. Like actually illegal. Or is it just legal ones like TRT and shit? Yeah, I don't know how they're getting away with it. I don't Some... think they're illegal. They're just illegal to use in legitimate boarding events. No, they're definitely illegal. Like trend and straight up steroids, right? Is that real? So. I'm pretty sure like Tranabol is like the biggest one and that. that's legal. Illegal. It's meant to mess you up the most, I think, as well. Tranabol added. Yeah, yeah, it is illegal. Oh, no, that's just a, the sport. I can't see there's a government website and it's not on the list, so time to get on some trend boys. Boys, I have some more Power World ripoffs. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> there's more? Yeah. Dude, they popped off last what week. What do you as mean well. more? We went through them last time and it was all above board. We all agree. Dude, people get really Just defensive about board. Power World as well. Like most yeah, people on the internet are like on Nipple's side. <laughs> really? I thought they'd all be Pokemon. Nah, fans dude. It's the other side. It's because people are hating on Pokemon. They don't want to go against the grain, you know? I might switch sides then. (laughs) (laughs) Also, I love that our most viewed episode is artistic nudity. Uh, Sorry, artistic nudity. And it's just because it has the word fucking nudity in the title. (laughs) From now on, nudity needs to be in every title. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, can you see that? Depresso. Uh, Okay, there's a hint. I have no idea. There's a handful of Pokemon though, like um, like Teddy Ursaring or whatever, like Teddy. I can't remember the name of it. The baby ver- version of Ursaring, and then like that like grey bear thing. All right, hit us. All right, it's got, so better be something with a little dick on its head. <laughs> yeah, Esper. I was thinking of Esper. I mean, Esper doesn't look depressed though. It looks soaked out of its mind on some sort of shit. Fucking and muff de- just flew into my face. <laughs> <laughs> also, <Nightmare>. depressed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd be gone. Podcast over. Um, <laughs> Depresso doesn't look depressed either. He just looks angry. What, do you want True. to have yeah, something else on him? Or? He needs to be crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this one's off the hook. It's like a blue teddy bear. Yeah, they're pretty I don't different. know. Alrighty. Give they're that different one a pass. Enough. Yeah, that one's a pass. Okay. Next one. Killer Mari. That is a tentacle. If I've ever seen one, that is a tentacle. I think they're different enough. Nope. Oh, and you were wrong. Okay. But a tentacle as well. There is too many pals for this many to like be this close to Pokemon. Do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? It just feels like if there's five that kind of match, then, you know, whatever. But this many? No, they're different enough. They're different enough. They're just squids. <laughs> or octopuses. Oh, look at its name. Kilimari. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Better name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's an annoying name. Um, I'm gonna. It's not a pass, but it's because it's tentacle, not ink. What do you mean? You don't think? Wait, why? Why aren't you giving it a pass? Because it's tentacle. It looks like tentacle. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yes, You're it wrong. does. You're so wrong. <laughs> then oh, why didn't Jed put well, tentacle here? Well, I'm guessing this is a plagiarized spreadsheet, and the person that he plagiarized it from didn't. If I could Sorry. show you this picture of Tentacle I'm looking at right now. <laughs> anyway. No, pass, it's not no a pass. pass. No pass? No pass. Pass for me. Alrighty. Sean, you have to look at what's presented. You can't go off to your okay. own little research. Spark it. <laughs> Does that Over tail to you. look familiar? Spark it. I have no idea. This is an automatic pass for me. <laughs> 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 we don't even need to see the next image. Right, you. I'm waiting for you to defend this. What? Just because they're both electric, electric types. <laughs> oh. There's nothing to defend here. The Dude. tail? I mean, you look at the tail and you're like, that looks not- copy-pasted. That's different. <laughs> the shading's different, all right, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I was actually on Pal World's, Pal World's side when this first happened, but holy shit. These are, like, egregious. Look at that. You Like, Raichu's iconic. You can't plagiarize Raichu. No like one gives a fuck about Raichu. Pikachu's iconic. Raichu, no one cares. He's iconic. Okay, you're fine. In Power's defense, I do think they have switched the tail around again. 
the lightning bolt in the tail. <laughs> yeah, they invert, they've rotated it. That, that takes effort, and that's stick. No, they didn't. Flare. It depends on your perspective. If we looked on, if we looked at Spark it from the other side, it would be identical. No, it's, it's twisted. Right. Yeah, I think it's. No, like, it's not. It. it is it's twisted. <laughs> You guys are fucking <laughs> retarded. No, it's not. It's well, not a pass. <laughs> yeah, oh it's a pass. God. The tail's different. <laughs> Toko, Toko. There's no way this looks like... I've never seen a Pokemon look, look like this. Look this. I freaking. think they may I think they may be off the hook, yeah. Colors for Zatu. No, I mean, back on the no, hook. it's pretty different. You reckon back it's on back the on the hook? This is so absolutely, different. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so different. One uh, of them looks fucking retarded, and the other one looks like which a... Which one? <laughs> the one on the Both. left. No, it looks like they modelled it after, like, a pinata or something. Fine. They're off it's the hook. pass. This one's a pass. The colours yeah. are pretty similar. I know. Not really. And it is, like, the bird aesthetic. What do you mean, not really? It's... Not really. It's pretty different. It's also... It's also the standing on two feet. Pink, white, <laughs> black. So it it's pretty similar. <laughs> and the patterns too. But no, it's fine. I think yeah, we'll give we'll give them this one. That is a pass. That is uh, three out of like fifty so far that have got passes <laughs> in my book. From Everybody. you. It's that one that starts with M. Um, I can't remember, but it's kind of fuckable. Uh, I, don't I know can't wait thought. to see this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. actually, so it's kind of fun. Of. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> also, probably off the hook. Yeah, that's off the hook. I mean, anytime one's on four feet and the other one's in two feet, oh. automatic pass. It's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to agree, but also, like, one's a bunny, and the other one's like a, I don't know, like a cat. I think is it a yeah. cat? I think it's it meant just to be has a, a lot of the same elements on there, though. Like, a different animal jet. A little, little tassel. Same colours. Although, why is its name like a sex toy? The rib- Which one? Ribunny. Ribunny. Like I don't know. Why does that sound like a sex toy? I don't know. Just because it's got like <laughs> rib and then bunny? I don't know. Anyway, whoops. <laughs> one track mind. I saw Sylvia and all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, is, that is a pass. Nips. You're always a pass, aren't you? Yeah, so. pass. Obviously yeah, a pass. <laughs> Incineram. There are pass. so many pals I did not see. I, I did not play that game, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played for about a week and haven't seen most of this. <laughs> yeah. Hound Zoom and Zorak. Oh, come on. Get off it. No, 100%. That's a pass. How's that a pass, Nibbler? What do you mean? Actually, hang on a minute. Look at Zorak, Zorak without, yeah. and then look at Incineroar without a head. Yeah, they look completely different. <laughs> They're identical, and then they got Houndoom's head and color scheme. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You're just lying. The horns are different between Incineroar and, and Houndoom. The uh, the colors are different. Incineroar's like black fur, whereas Zorak is like. You can a recolor different shade them. of black. I think like the color's the easiest thing to not fuck up. Look yeah. at the hair. Look at the hair. The sour rack. Look at that. Yeah, and that's why it's Hound Doom's head. I just don't see it. Mate. <laughs> they're on the hook hard for this nah, one. They're getting sued. Fast. That is at least a five hundred thousand dollar liability. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, you're right. not a lawyer. You're not a copyright <laughs> lawyer. You don't know what you're talking about. That's basically a I'm up to this. <laughs> All right, we have a pass and a no pass. Next one, Fixie. Yeah, that's that um little electric dog thing. Man. I reckon. Yamper. Yamper. Yeah, and then yeah, look at that. No, because they're dogs, and I think Fixie's a cat. So that's different. <laughs> I don't think Vixie's a cat. I think that's a like a fox, wouldn't you say? Yeah, fox. Whatever. And then, not, what would you say Fennekin is? Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. I've been right. cornered. But, but just because they're both foxes, like they don't look that similar. You look at them both. Like it's not like they stole any one asset. They're just both four small four. Little, Leg creatures. Okay. What do they steal? Well, point out some something that's similar. 
But just the them. vibe. Oh, the vibe. <laughs> You're going to go to court and accuse them because of the vibe. You know what? Fine. Okay, this one may not be the strongest case. Uh, although, it, like, if I see a pal and immediately think of the exact same Pokemon that somebody else does, surely that is, like, too close. No, you know? Like, Pokemon... This, they have a Fox Pokemon. Uh, Power World has a Fox Pal. Of course you're going to think of it. Of course you are. Yeah, but that's bad. Like, if Pokemon released another thousand Pokemon, which they probably will, each time they come out, I don't look at the new one and be like, oh, that looks like this other Pokemon. Yeah, but this is a different game. If you're saying the Power World can't steal any animals or sea creatures or anything the Pokemon's ever done, that's insane, because they've done everything. Okay, that's not what I was saying. That's, but that's what you were saying. Been, I've also been cornered. <laughs> uh, this one is a pass for me, Ooh. but barely. Pass. I'd have it on the list for cord, but maybe at the bottom. This is the Terrakian. This is a Terrakian. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Defend this one, you fucker. <laughs> one's, one's hairless. We have a one as bright red fur, so it's pretty Stop different. Stop it. They just <laughs> set him on fire. One's That's a robot. Like, it doesn't even look human, whereas the, the other one's like an animal. It kind of looks like a sheep or a rat. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Oh, it's easy Are you really commenting on similar. realism? Are you really commenting on realism when the thing's on fire? I'm pretty sure that's on fire, right? Or is it wool? It's wool. I don't think it's wool, it's man. It's wool. <laughs> Why is it so bright? No, dude, if immediately thought of that Pokemon... Your hatred has... for gingers has gone too far. <laughs> it's just gone to the animal kingdom now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the animal kingdom, it's Power World. Stop it. <laughs> That is not a pass. That is an immediate liability. There isn't any judge what's in the world. Or... What's similar? You know what? You Point know what out the... to me what's similar. Listen, listen to me. The creators of Power World better pray for a blind judge. Just point out what's similar. Because <laughs> they're fucked. Uh, what do you mean? It's the same thing. The horns. The horns the... look completely different. The stance. Like the four legs. The hooves. One, one has its feet in, the other one has a wide stance. The stance is different, the horns are very different. Tell okay. me one legitimate thing that's not vibes, but is similar between them. Bro, I can't. They're both <laughs> yeah, goats so it's a horns. pass. So it's a pass. It's <laughs> of course it's, a, it's pass. a pass. They look nothing alike. We, sir, are going to have to agree to disagree. Okay. You just wrote but a I disagree. Out, Nick. <laughs> 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 All right, next one. Univolts. Stop it. That is um <laughs> Zoo Bolt or whatever it is, the fucking lightning zebra. Oh, or that. Both of them combined. Even better. Supports my case. Please. Yeah, Nicole. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my One's god. One's a unicorn. The other two it's just a zebra and a I don't even know what the fuck that thing is. At a certain point, we're going to run out of pals. Like, we're going to be... Like, if you could compare every single pal to a Pokemon, you know that they've stolen them. There isn't a single original one. What is the case here? <laughs> it looks like Zeb Striker, but with the hair of a Manit... Man man How does it look like Zeb Striker? Because they're both horse-like animals? Yes. Is that it? Just because they're both horse-like? No, like, the theme of it, it's a lightning horse. Yeah, but one has, like, lightning shit coming off it, and the other one just looks like a zebra. No, that one also has lightning, like, it has lightning on its body. What are you talking about? It literally has lightning bolts on it. Yeah, and then it has, like, like the spiky tail. Of it. <laughs> the spiky mane? The spiky mane. That's just, yeah. it, that's just because it has an attitude. That's how... <laughs> Okay, the horn? <laughs> Yeah, one has two horns, and the other one is one horn, and it's literally called Univolt, because it's a <laughs> unicorn. It's based off unicorns. Neither of these two you're pointing to are unicorns. That is not a pass. Although you're pass. arguing better than me today, but that is not a pass, dude. Uh, if I can pick the That's fucking so Pokemon... so different. <laughs> no shot. All right, next. You didn't even pick the Pokemon. You picked a different Pokemon. <laughs> No, I didn't. I picked the right one. I said the fucking Zeb horse okay, lightning right. thing. Catrus. I know. I think you're going to point to... Is it Mischievous? Or the... Um, 
Yeah, Mr. Magnus. Yeah. Oh, come off it. Nipper. Happy with that, Nipper? Point to me where you see similarities. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a Brakeson with the head of the Miss Magius. Also, can pals evolve? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that would be the uh, see, Pokemon you, DLC. <laughs> you got images of a ghost-looking Pokemon and a cat-looking Pokemon, and you've, you're claiming that this this owl looks like both of them combined. Individually, yes. they look nothing alike. You are on drugs. <laughs> Individually, the pal looks nothing like these two. Individually, yeah, I guess, but the the claim is is that they're like combining assets. And to like like the not cat called out. The cats look completely different. But they don't. One How well, they I mean, one's a fox. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> the only reason my you... case for me. No, no, no. The other reason you're saying it's a cat is because it has it in its name. But it remove the name, you would think it's also a fox. It's obviously a cat. It that is obviously is. not. A... Look at the cat ears. The... I don't... couldn't tell you what is ears there, because well, actually, I think I can. The like the ones on top of the ears, or the ones the floppy blue ones, the ears. I wasn't paying attention to what you said. The one on the left <laughs> has cat ears. <laughs> Which is the ears? The floppy blue things or the ears? Like above the head? The ears on the hat. No. They're on the hook. I'm not passing. This is just... This is just a cat in a hat. And that's what... Maybe Dr. Seuss has a lawsuit. (laughs) But it's literally just a cat with a hat on. I don't see it. Alright, before we go to the next one, I swear to you I'm going to give you a fully objective opinion. Okay, Dipla? You haven't. So far, you've not. I have. You've been riding Pokemon's dick so hard. I have. But I just want to say it out loud. I'm giving you an objective opinion. Okay. Are you doing the same, Nifla? Yes. Always. <laughs> no. <laughs> your, your voice went so high. <laughs> My voice goes high when I tell the truth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wixen. Can you name it? Yeah, it looks like the full evolution of the Brakeson. I can't remember its name. Yeah. Yeah, this one's tough. <laughs> this one's tough to defend. <laughs> I was actually going to give it a pass. Yeah, it's like too. a... <laughs> it's like a little fox dude with a hat. He's like, kind of like a magician. Although Del Fox is also kind of a magician. Yeah, they're pretty different now I'd look at it more. <laughs> it's a pass from me. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a pass from me too, to be honest. Interesting. Give that one a pass. All right. Bron Cherry. Yeah, this is that ice dragon type. I can't remember its name. Um, yeah, Aurora's. Bro, these are insane. Um, I can't get past being able to like pick. It, it's like shedding its skin or something. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> but the one on the left, like if there's any grown man playing like Power World catching that thing. And it's called Bron- Bronk Cherry Aqua. Sounds like an awesome energy drink. Or like a drag queen. Bron Cherry Aqua is a drag name. You don't think so? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I no no tell pass. You. Look at them. They look identical. No pass. Um, I'll give it a pass. <laughs> What's your reasoning? I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just power. Although Bron Cherry kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like a banana too. Yeah, see, to Sean's right. One's obviously based off a banana. <laughs> <laughs> but the name is so like it makes it so obvious that they didn't take it seriously. Bron Cherry Aqua. All right, that's the name of the pal. Stop shitting on his name, okay? Okay. Astagon. I don't... I think this one's going to be a pass. I'm guessing, like, you're going to show Zekrom with, like... I don't know. Mega, uh, wow, that is it? niche as fuck. Corviknight. Oh, Mega? You're going into Mega Evolutions? <laughs> <laughs> they look similar, <laughs> man. <Slimey> fuck. <laughs> they do, they do, do look similar. One has wings and the other doesn't. 
Bro, there is a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, see? That's my point. There's so many fucking Pokemon. Yeah, oh, it's hard to come up with a max, which is a special form as well. <laughs> yeah, they're both like, yeah. Um, I'm going to give I mean, it a pass, but I'm also going to call out the fact that that power, world lo- that power one looks like shit. Like a child designed that color yeah, scheme. Yeah, it looks like the wings are way too small to lift its weight. Like it doesn't make and, sense. The wings need the to be co- way bigger. And the colors is like a 13-year-old teenager who thinks like black and purple are cool together. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look great. But it's Terrible a pass. Design. <laughs> it is a pass, yeah. Ozark. He looks cool. <laughs> what is that? I've never seen that Pokemon. Gen- no. Electricity. Hey. Fuck, yeah, he's dope. He's a poison electric type, mate. He does look pretty dope. If he had finished Pokemon uh, Shield, you would have seen it. <laughs> Pokemon's been shit for a while. Let's be honest. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it's probably... It peaked. It, the remake of Diamond and Pearl was dope. I mean, you know what I'm going to say. This one's egregious, Pass. in my opinion. <laughs> Dude, look at the mannerisms between Toxicity and, and the face of Osirk. Yeah, they're both depressed. That's fine. They can be <laughs> depressed. No, stop. And then, like, the hunch of Garchomp. Look, the colours are different. One has <laughs> wings. The other one doesn't have wings. Um, one has these weird things coming out of its head. The other one doesn't. <laughs> he has a mohawk. There's so many differences. One does leg day. The other one doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pass for me. I, I'm, on the, I'm on the feds. I was about to say pass. But no, no pass. Fuck Power World. Sue him into the ground. <laughs> this one's bad. Oh, this, is probably this one's fuck. so bad. This is probably this the worst one. This looks so dumb. Necro miss. This is the brand new Fire Ghost type from um, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Fire Ghost? Or, Wait, um, we're yeah, saying this is brand new. The Soledge Sol- okay. one? Ledge is brand new. That's interesting. So when did Power World start development? How do we know Pokemon didn't rip off the Pal? Stop it. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Stop it. Stop it. We're going to um, have also, to look deeper into this. You don't even need a sca- um, Escavalier here. Like, just the comparison to um, Ledge is bad. Like, they're identical. They're literally the what same thing. What do you need? Just... One's a centaur and the other one's That's just right. a That's <laughs> right. They just gave it two extra legs. And a tail? And yeah, different. The swords look way worse in the pa- Power it. World one. Stop! 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 You need what to like concede on some in order to like strengthen your <laughs> argument overall. You know, because this is horrific. I don't see this one. This might be like the like the straw that breaks the camel's back in court. Okay, I, feel. I do. I do see this one, but I'm not a hundred percent sure who stole from who in this situation. So <laughs> oh. it's going to be a null. We'll, we'll strike this one from the record. I think this is the last one. Bro. It's, um... So dumb. <laughs> it's, um, Salamence, but the new version of it, the, um... I can't remember what it's called. Like, the Z Evolution. Or... Wow. Oh, right. If you have to do free, then it's over. That's a pass. <laughs> no, you that only need the, um... You know, you only need, like, the... What's the... Is it X version? What the fuck is the, oh, the Salamence... Mega. Or the Paradox. Yeah, maybe Mega? Or Paradox? Hang on. I mean, it only looks like the top one a little bit. The other two... I don't see What about it. those little wing things? Yeah, but they're just wings. So, the other thing too, this PAL is like the main PAL of the game. It's like the staple. Everyone uses it. Everyone flies around on it. Everyone has one. It needs to be, like, unique. That is Salamence. You don't even need nah, the rest. I do agree the other two you can fuck off. But it's not <laughs> but that similar to Salamence. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. The other things like you need, right? Like you need to like spice up Salamence a little bit. They don't want to, they don't want to just straight copy paste. So then that's where they pulled the other shit from. Yeah, it's a pass from me. The also, different. They did not take the names seriously. Like they thought this game was going to be a meme, and now all of a sudden they're probably going to jail. They called it Jet Dragon. Yeah, so it's a it's a literal jet. 
And there's no Pokemon yeah. for the Jets, so... You can't even pronounce it! Jetragon. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Say it, Nibbler. Jetragon? Yeah. You can't, they're not words that go together. <laughs> Drata- like, is it... Yeah, Dr- this is like... Dr-tagon? This is just some intern. And then, <laughs> I had to name, like, 500 pals <laughs> in a day. How old's fucked? They're Donskis. They don't fall. I think we've proven today that Power World and the company we made it are going to be completely fine in the court of law. As long as they hire me. Do you have a closing statement? Uh, no. You don't have a closing statement? You're just going to let them go undefensed? If you have one, I'll counter your closing statement. Yes, I do have one. Go ahead. As Pokemon... We've spent the last 25 years handcrafting meticulously, with sometimes five years plus in between a series of games, handcrafted 1,200 Pokemon. And the copyright is egregious. The laziness is obvious. You want to and talk carelessness to us about is liable. You now have give chairs me my fucking Pokemon. million dollars. You have fucking huh? kitchen appliances as Pokemon. You have chairs as Pokemon. You have tables as Pokemon. You're the laziest fucking... You've been making the same game for 30 years. You are coming to this courtroom and say we're lazy. Yes. I am. Can you fucking skin a Pokemon? <laughs> in, in, in Pokemon? Can you fucking enslave them? Look, I will give death? you I will give you gameplay. I will give you creativity. I will give you playability. And I will give you fun. But I will not give you our skins. Okay? That was copyright. Everything else about Power World is better. But you needed you to be a little bit more original. You can't make a billion fucking Pokemon, which you admit it you've made, and then be upset when someone creates a creature that looks slightly like them. That's yes, insane. Can. That's you why can't. we're here. You Making can't. me $200 million. I, they had, like, their... <laughs> Uh, jokes aside, their concurrent play account on Power World was fucking absurd. They had like 300,000 people just on Steam playing it at once. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nuts. And it's like a $40 game, right? Yeah, they're doing Do we... very well for themselves. So like, well, I mean, they're going to lose it all. They're really not. Yeah, they will, dude. <laughs> no, they won't. It's Pokemon. They definitely will. That's 12 million just in Steam sales. And then they made a deal with Game Pass. Because it's out on, free, it's out for free on Game Pass, and then you get it on PlayStation and shit too. So, I reckon they've probably made at least fifty million from the game in like three weeks, four weeks. Pretty good. Was there like five million people that bought it or something? Was there? I think so. Oh, you! I, I just did it based on like concurrent players. So yeah, you're probably right. So is that like forty times five? I don't know what that, that number is. Is it two billion? That's two hundred million. That's two hundred million. million. <laughs> Man, they just made Pokemon two hundred million dollars. That's amazing. <laughs> it's not going to poke. That's not how it works. I swear to God, in, it'll take four years, and they'll just keep them in court and bleed them dry until they go bankrupt. hundred percent. It sucks that they're both Japanese companies, or else no, are they? Yeah. Oh, well, that explains or the else, terrible names. Or else, like, yeah, it does. If they weren't both in Japan, I'm sure the company would just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't fucking care, sue me. <laughs> that, yeah, that just convinces me they definitely plagiarize. Like, some little, like, shady Japanese intern, like, left the Pokemon company, left Nintendo, came across, probably designed half of the Pokemon he plagiarized. No, because it's all above board, and it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening. If you're still here, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And next week, episode 69. Just thought that'd be funny to say. (laughs) Peace.